Okay, I'm going to call up Kat Young right now and just let her know I'm recording this. Uh, it, I recalled a time when I was on the phone with Kat and some people were staying with Kathy Edge and Ch Chuck. And I was on the phone with them and they had shown me an image of the fireplace, I believe. And there was a brand, I believe, that was on the fireplace. And I said, what's that? I, and I don't know if it was a... Uh, a FaceTime call maybe or something, but it, I, I was looking at something on the fireplace, which was a brand, I believe. And uh, I said, what's that on the fireplace? And Kathy Edge heard me and uh, Corey, do you remember what she said? Yeah, I think she said, uh, oh shit, what did he see? That's right. Kathy Edge went, oh shit, what did he see? I was like, why does she care what I saw? So we're going to call Kat Young and... <laughs> I mean, yeah, why does she care? Like, why would she go, oh, shit, what did he see? Well, I'll tell you what I did see subsequently is that that Kathy Edge has a room she calls her craft room. Uh, and in her craft room, she has a big, uh, like, tapestry or whatever wall hanging. Uh, it's cloth, and it's a big eye. I, I've seen the same thing in witchcraft uh, journals in, I think, New England. They have the same... The same thing on the ceiling or the wall is Kathy Hedge, Edge has in her room, her craft room, and she has a bed with hexagons on it. That's where the term hex comes from in witchcraft, by the way, which is an intersecting right side up and upside down triangle like a Star of David. A Star of David makes a hexagon in the middle. So she has a bedspread on the bed right below the eye and on the wall it says welcome to Padmos. I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like that is the most evil thing I've ever seen because she's she's manifesting the same thing. The Vatican has an eye on the ceiling and then it has the canopy representing the flesh which stands in between uh, the eye on the floor which is a serpent eye on the floor of the Vatican. So it's the eye from the ceiling, the canopy, and then the serpent eye on the floor. Well, isn't that fascinating? Because the Bible says, arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. Because, see, we're all angels trapped in host bodies, and we are literally the walking dead. That's why we have to be converted and born again of the Spirit and born back into life again. So anyway, isn't it fascinating that Kathy Edge <laughs> has the same accoutrements as the Vatican? And then... She is worried about what I see in her house. And she says, oh, shit, what did he see? Like I was able to discern something. And she's the one that's been leading this insane charge since the closing of the ark. Kathy Edge was the one that would not stop running her mouth. And I asked her husband, I said, look, I'm going to I'm going to put everything aside. I'm not going to go after you know, Jim that had an FFL growing weed. I could have made that into a big ordeal. If, if I was trying to get money back, someone would have drug you into court and made that part of a court record. But I didn't care. I was like, I don't want, it's not about money. I need to get the people out of the ark. Yeah, it would be nice if Jim and Karen came back, gave back some of the money they took in. But they said they were going to give back $50,000 because the Lord had told Jim to. Well, they never did it if the Lord told him to do it. Why didn't he do it? He never did it. Then Chuck on the phone call that uh, Zach was privy to, and I told you guys about that phone call already, when Chuck was there, and I said, y'all probably recorded it as well. Um, I know Kathy was probably, I would assume that Kathy was sitting right there with him, and Chuck was trying to establish some nonsense record. Well, did you at any time grow weed with Jim? It's like, dude, shut up. That's so stupid. So anyway, uh, isn't it interesting the way the way this is all panning out. All I asked Chuck was, I said, please ask your wife to quit maligning me, quit saying hateful stuff about me online. That was at the closing of the ark. The people being evicted. And I was like, that's it. I will not sue. I will not involve your mother-in-law. She doesn't need to be involved in all this. It's she didn't do anything wrong. So I'm not gonna get her caught up as collateral damage in a big lawsuit where her property is involved. And I gave Chuck Edge my word. I said, when you go to bed tonight, Chuck, I want you to have just the peace of mind that Jonathan Kleck is not going to let all these people file a class action lawsuit and involve your mother-in-law. I'm not going to do it. 
That's not who I am. That's not what I'm about. And the record will speak for itself. I didn't file anything, nothing, zero, zip. All I did was relocate everybody. And it at the cost to myself and other people that were willing to get involved to help. That's it. But Kathy Edge, let me read you a, a comment Kathy Edge has made on one of these videos. She wrote, oh no, hang on, I'm sorry. I'm gonna read uh, LaDonna Cesar, who's a very sweet person that's been around the ministry for a while. As a matter of fact, I remember I rebuked Donna one time for really messing up and she received it. And now she's just out there, you know, continually just to be a light on things. Here we go, let us let me read you LaDonna's comment 14 hours ago on my last video. LaDonna wrote, at the night under the stars, Kathy told me that every time her husband Chuck got a new job, she had to assume that role. And she wrote the word she, all capital letters. She had to assume that role. I laughed and replied, I'm not kidding. Then Kathy elaborated, when Chuck became sheriff, I became sheriff. When Chuck became police chief, I became police chief. I have to be the expert. Chuck was running for judge at the time. And Kathy told me that if Chuck was elected, she would have to become the judge. And she didn't know if she wanted to be a judge. That's what LaDonna is publicly stating about Kathy Edge. Does that sound about right? Now, here's the thing I've heard out of Kathy and Karen both. I listen to no man. That's what they say it all the time. We've all heard it repetitively. That is their common, uh, just common language. I listen to no man. Karen said it so many times. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Jesus is a man. I'm like, that's weird. I was sent to lay hands on you and you recovered from stage four rectal cancer when you were arguably just weeks before death. And then God turned it around, the God that I serve. And he healed your rectal cancer stage four. And you did a video saying how Johnny's exactly who he said he was. And Johnny, yeah, he shows up with power and you know he does. And now I'm this evil SOB that can't do anything right. Isn't that fascinating? Isn't that fascinating? And who are the biggest cheerleaders over at the Gene Rebel channel? channel? Kathy and Karen. Jim was over there. Chuck's left messages over there that are absolutely repugnant, repulsive messages. Threatening messages, be careful, grasshopper. <laughs> it's like, it's so crazy. It's like, can you see a spiritual involvement here? Do you see people cut of different cloths here? I do. So now let me call Cat Young and let me just, let me just uh, get Cat on this phone call. Uh, here we go. I'm going to call Cat up. Because Cat was there. Cat, I mean, that's what was going on at the time. So I, I know I started this about the whole phone call up there at the edges place, but went off on a little bit of a sidetrack just to like, look at this stuff. Come on, cat, answer the phone. No. Okay, let me try cat again. I'm gonna just crash her phone. <laughs> See if she'll pick up. Here we go. If she doesn't pick up, I'll pause this recording and... <laughs> Come on, cat, pick up the phone. Your call has been forwarded right. to an automatic voice message system. Seven, zero. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna pause that and then I'm gonna get cat on the phone and we'll continue this. Okay, so yeah, Kat just called, and so I'm going to call her back on the other line so we can keep the audio recording of this. I want to have all this together. Hello? Hey, Kat. Yes? Hey, dude, answer your phone. I was just climbing into the shower, okay, but I got well, again. Well, okay, let's go. Chop, chop. No, hey, sorry. <laughs> so listen, I'm, I'm, I'm audio recording this because I want to have a record of this. Okay. Um, so... You were staying at the edges one time, and I, I and I want I don't want to say everything. I don't want to try and put words in your mouth. So I want you to tell everybody. So I haven't called you and discussed uh, a phone call where, you know, Kathy was concerned that maybe I, you know, what it, you, you know what I'm talking about. 
where I called, uh, or y'all, you were on the phone with me, and I, I saw something. And no, that was Jack. If it was her mantle and insignia. Oh, uh, so were, were you there, or was it just Jack? Who was there? We were all standing on that patio. Okay, so okay, that this is all I'm looking for. I just need someone to explain. What was going on? Uh, so we have a clear understanding, like what was going on when that incident happened? You, now you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Okay, just tell everybody what happened. What happened? Well, we're all standing around chatting and uh, Jack noticed like the branding thing above the fireplace. And um, I think you had called it that time. And you're like, oh, I'd like to see that. And I think Jack sent you a picture. So Jack sent me a, yeah, because I saw the brand on their fireplace that apparently they use on their cattle and their bland, I think they call it the split diamond. And then, I, I know that Chuck made a reference to it in one of our friends. Oh. He was, but anyway, so I saw the brand and I was like, what is that? And then you could, was I on speakerphone? I think you were with Jack. Yeah, so, and then, because I could hear Kathy. What did Kathy say? Did I you... think she said, oh, shit, or something yeah, like that. She, yeah, she said, that's right. She said, oh, shit, and then what did, wh what did he see? Do you, you know, I don't even remember what it looks like, Jonathan, to be honest. Yeah, Lee, but I know... no, 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 but Kathy's words were, oh, shit, what did he see? And I was like, weird. Why did yeah, she I give thought, a... What? Right, that's very strange. Well, but it, did you hear her say that? Yes, I did. So that is exactly what she said, right? Exactly, yes. So she said, oh shit, what did he see? Yes. And what I saw was they have a cattle brand that is matches exactly the top of the hindecogram, which is triangles facing opposite directions. That's the top of the endecogram, which represents, yeah. oddly enough, the twin female system uh, that the Statue of Liberty stands on top of the 11-pointed star. It's called a hindecogram in Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology, like witchcraft. They call it the Kelepot because it represents the host body that the angels are trapped in, the 11-pointed star. And in Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology, it's referred to as the Kelepot. And it means a peel, shell, or husk. It's inherently evil, but housing the essence of God. But the twin female system, that is their iconography. That's their symbology representing the cage that the angels are caught in. The, oh, oppo boy. the opposing triangles going opposite directions. And I believe Chuck asked, I know, I don't believe, I know Chuck asked me on the, Phone call when I was on with Zach uh, towards the uh, when when I say Zach Zach was here listening and when they were kicking everybody out of the ark I remember Chuck going Are you saying our our brand is evil Johnny and I'm like No I didn't say it was evil I just said it's interesting it's the top of the endogram I want to read you a comment that Ladonna wrote on my last video By the way Ladonna I mean I don't know what your relationship is with her if any but i know that she was at other stuff that i've done very nice person but one time i had to rebuke her because she had assumed a role like leaving people's numbers available to the general public and and i was very upset because my number was in there and people were crashing my phone and i was like so you let my number be available to people and i was really upset so anyway but here's Ladonna. she's still part of the ministry start of Part of the, when I say ministry, she still follows the YouTube channels and the information that I put out. She's a very kind yeah. person, very kind. Uh, they've supported the ministry. They've supported people they through supported the ministry. The ark. They supported the ark. That's right. About yeah. 18 to 20,000 bucks. That's right. LaDonna gave a huge donation to the ark. And uh, yeah. she was at the yeah. night under the stars. Let, let me read to you what LaDonna wrote 14 okay. hours ago on my computer. She wrote, at the night under the stars, Kathy told me that every time her husband, Chuck, got a new job, she, all capital letters, she had to assume that role. I laughed and replied, I'm not kidding. Then Kathy elaborated with, quote, when Chuck became sheriff, I became sheriff. Now, this is in quotation marks. 
she elaborated, Kathy elaborated, when Chuck became sheriff, I became sheriff. When Chuck became police chief, I became police chief. I have to be the expert. That's a quote from LaDonna. Now, here's the next part. Chuck was running for judge at the time, and Kathy told me that if Chuck was elected, she would have to become a judge. And she didn't know if she wanted to be a judge. So, yeah. So, I'm just documenting all this because, yeah, I remember the phone call where you guys were there. And Corey was, well, I had y'all on speakerphone. Yeah. And I saw that thing on the fireplace. I'm like, what is that? That's a brand uh, for cattle? And I was like, okay, that's weird. It's the top of the hindegogram. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, that's weird. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm just documenting. So you were there, correct? Yes, I so was. So you were physically yeah. standing in Kathy and Chuck Edge's house when that phone call was made and you heard that, yes or no? Yes, all of us were out there standing in that room. So Chuck was there, Kathy was there, you were there, who else was there? I believe Shannon and her husband, Rich. Oh, shit. Yeah. Shannon and Rich and Jack. Yeah. All right, well, very good. And y'all were, when you're standing, standing in what room? The, the outside patio that's enclosed in part of the house, basically. Is that one called the one they call the craft room? Uh, no, that would be a separate area. Okay, but it's a, the same I, facility. I All right, I was just wondering. Yeah. You, but you you were given permission to photograph things in there, yes or no? Yes, I asked. You even said, "Do you mind if I take some pics?" Yes. Okay. That's all. We just want to make a record, Kat. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> just... that's cool. So, yeah, so here we go. Very interesting. Other people are also providing some, and I'm sorry, I, I got to quit doing this. When I do these recordings, the AC's going, fans are going, I feel like I need to talk over them. Sorry about that. So anyway, no so it's interesting because Karen and Kathy both, I've heard from many them many times saying, I listen to no man. I've I've heard him say that many many times. And oh wow! Yeah, and I'm just finding this all so fascinating because the whole thing is male and female energy in the whole system. Isn't that fascinating? Yes, absolutely. This is wild. This is crazy. Okay, so I just wanted to nail that down. Now I'm going to save this recording, put it in the show notes. All right. Cool. Okay, you're okay if I play this for everybody? Absolutely. I have nothing to hide. There you go. I love you, cat. Thank you. Yep, love you guys too. Bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, 